Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Monday. Well, this is part two of my review for one day savings. So we have two more pre-stamped cross stitch to go through. So let's start with this one. It is a picture of a carousel and it looks like it's in the Eight, late 1800s, early 1900s. I'll put a picture here. All right. This is a 60 by 40. It's 234 stitches by 174. Let's take a look. If I can figure out how to open the bag. Lots of threads in this one. Lots of threads. Put that over there and flip this over. Nice big paper pattern. It's on that shiny paper. Shiny's on the other side. Let me undo it. Has a lot of detail to it. <coughs> it has 44 colors and it does have instructions on how to start how to end your cross stitch and what to do with it very nice very well printed I mean I can see all the symbols on this if you'd like you can have it blown up if it works better for you or use a magnifying glass it does have the colors running down the side the DMC number the symbols and the numbers on the thread cards but this whole thing right here will match your cross stitch And this has 310, uh, 823, no 939, no 3371. This has 3865 and 3866 to it. So two different shades of white. But yeah, it looks like we're going to see on the pattern. I, I don't want to make a judgment call yet. does come with... A kit with a little deer on it has a needle threader five needles a poof ball and a thimble we we'll just keep throwing those up there let's take a look at all these beautiful quilt colors the color got me with this I just thought it was gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous okay hang on got to put a crease in that right off the bat I see three Hanks this is 3865. This is 819. Isn't that a beautiful shell pink? Oh, and this is kind of a Dijon mustard color, if you will. Only a little bit lighter. It's 3047. Really pretty color. Very soft threads. Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, I'd like to take a bath in all these colors they're just so soft and so nice just beautiful beautiful looking colors got some reds and some dark salmon they're just kind of a mustard yellow only it's on the pale version a little dark blue green mm. just nice bright vivid colors for those carousel horses yeah, I'm hoping that this canvas will be big enough to get all the details. We'll see. Look at the reds and the blues and the bright green and yellow for the horses and their dresses. and Just lovely. Look at all the shades of green. My goodness gracious. And there's some dark blue. That's probably your 823. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I've never seen one in a... Put that in there. So sorry. Like a carousel looking one. If I have, I don't remember. But I just thought it was beautiful. Let's take a look at this canvas. The canvas is surged all the way around. Sorry, I hit that thing again. Hang on. There we go. It's kind of big. Kind of big. It's a 60... 
have to look again. 60 by 45. Let's take a look at that part first. Sixty by forty-four and a half. Actual picture size is fifty-three and a half, which is twenty-one. This is about the same size as my uh, autumn house from either May Day or Joy Sunday. You know what I'm talking about by 39 which is about almost 15 and a half so yeah it's a fair good size it is full coverage it looks a little bit yeah confetti in fact the whole carousel is confetti 44 colors and the key is nice and big it doesn't have the color you know way down the side but very easy to read numbers and symbols and then your thread numbers very easy to read symbols on the pattern it is an 11 count I will tell you if it's not an 11 count yeah this would be a piece of work it'd be beautiful when it's done but I just hope all the detail and the horses and all that it's a nice heavy canvas too just beautiful just beautiful mm. gorgeous loving it I don't know if I can wait to start that one that one is going to be gorgeous now that carousel was $13.15 so not too bad still under $15 I think that's a good deal for a cross stitch I really do because you can't go and buy counted for that price not at all Okay, let's see what this one is. Let's if I can get it up here. Flip. All right. Well, you can almost see this one. This is called Summer Hut. Yeah. They had spring, summer, winter, and I believe there is a fall one, or maybe it says autumn hut. It is a 40 by 50 centimeters it is an 11 count product number how big it is and how many squares per square it's got a lot of background in it oh yeah so if you wanted to you could just do the house and not worry about the background that's up to you so there's not too much stitching here it's just the bulk size of it and then all that Whew, color 36 colors number 13 is 543 I've never seen them use that for you know your white or your cream off white background does have all the the colors the DMC number the symbols and the numbers on the thread card but yeah I would be tempted to do this and just do the the house Part ish you know with the flowers and stuff and just skip the background because I can't take that much boredom I'm sorry it drives me ballistic and it doesn't look too uh, what do you call it uh, confetti you know you've got rivers and little ways of stitching so not every third one like that last one we looked at yeah it's gonna be a piece of work It'll be well worth it when it's done, but yeah. I just thought they was cute, and I just wanted to see what these would look like before I invested in the spring, summer, and I mean the spring and the winter one and the fall one. I didn't know how, I couldn't get a handle in my brain how big they were. So, yeah. Just beautiful. Did I say that this will all match your canvas? It will. And it has no 310, no 939, no 823. Just happy, cheery colors. Let's take a look at the colors. Of course, you have another one of these. Now, this comes in a clear bag. 
comes with a bobbin, a poof ball, two poof balls, and five needles, and a thimble, and a needle threader. So maybe they just thought one poof ball was not enough. They just needed to add two. So I'll use those in my... I don't... Do I have one in here? Yeah, there is. I use them in my little lipstick holders to hold my threads so that they didn't get lost down in the bottom, especially if I have a sewing needle in there because they're only about yay big, you know? So they work great for that. They work awesome. And I have... I had... I don't know where it's at right now. Can't find it. But I have one of those wooden needle cases, so I'm going to put a poop ball in that, too, as well. Okay, let's take a look at the threads. Oh, there's your background color, kids. Mm, 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 mm. Working on it. How in the world is this open? Ah. I like when they put the, the threads into a separate baggie. Awesome. All right. So you got one, two, three hanks of 543. Isn't that a beautiful buff? That would look so good in like a solid colored uh, sampler on like a darker, you know, um, Edo or even weave or linen, you know, if you're brave. I'm, I'm not that brave. Yeah. We're trying. But it does have some beautiful colors. Did I say it was 11 count? Yeah. I don't know. I tend to repeat myself sometimes. I want to get you all the information. It's just I can't remember that I've already given you that information. How's that? Look at these bright, bright, dark. Yeah, bright and dark colors. Nick mixed together. Look at that yellow. Oh my gosh, that is so yummy. And look at the purples. <gasps> and the fuchsia pinks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love thread. I love thread. You can take a bath in it, I'm telling you. So soft. And so nice and such high quality. You know, for inexpensive kits that aren't too terribly bad. You know, I mean, price wise. You bet. I will take them anytime. And not to mention, you save yourself some money. So, beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Let's take a look at this. This is nice and big. I'm going to set it sideways for a little bit. So you can see the house and there's like butterflies and little flowers growing up the side of it. Like I said, now, I don't know. I haven't looked. But they do have three more, you know, one for each season, I do believe. So, you might check that out. And like I said, I'm going to dump that background. Hmm. Yeah. Because I think the house would be cute. Just on a white background. And you could put them, you know, side by side in long frames. Wouldn't that be cute? Nice big pattern. It is surged all the way around, and the surging did not go into the numbers, so they're very nice and clear and easy to read. And so are the symbols. Oh my goodness. I'm trying. Now I'm let, not let. There we go. I was hiding the lights. See, the lights over here. So. Isn't that beautiful? Just so easy to read. So very easy. Now you could put as much back stitching in this as you wanted. Just go for broke, you know. If the background ain't your thing, go for back stitching. Neither one are my cup of tea, but you know, I think it would look really nice after you got done with the windows and stuff and some of the things, you know, you could outline. Because heaven knows we got enough three ten to float a bat. We could make a cover for a battleship. I'm telling you. Let's see how big this is. Before I forget, it does have trying product number, how big it is, and how many squares per squares across the top. I don't 
usually there isn't a symbol. There are no stickers on that. So I just write what the product number is, and that way I know it goes with that key. And with that, you know, project. It has saved me so many times, you have no idea. I just write it with a Sharpie, and it goes right into that cardboardy side. There's one side that's really shiny. Okay, this is 55 on the money by 39 and a half. Did I just do this? I'm telling you, I'm losing my mind. This is about the same size as that other one by excuse me, 48 and a quarter, 48 and a half centimeters or 19 and a quarter. So it's a little bit longer than that last one. And it is 33, almost 33 and a half by a little over 13. So 13 by 19. Just beautiful. But if you cut it down, let's say to about there on both sides, it'd only be like 12 and a half inches that way. And say from the top to almost the bottom to 19. So, yeah, just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And what I like about it is that it's not too confetti. You know, you got little tiny areas here and there, but the rest of it's pretty solid pools of color. I don't know how else to explain it. But it's not too complicated. This would be a good one for anyone starting because it's not you know, it might seem daunting because it's kind of big, but yet there's not a lot, overwhelming amount of stitching. So, yeah, nice material. Just lovely. Well, thank you, One Day Saving, for sending me these beautiful, beautiful kits. Now, One Day Saving does have free shipping on orders over $50. Sometimes they do have buy two get one free or buy three get one free etc I will put that in the description below they have pre-stamped and counter cross stitch diamond painting paint by number they also do custom for all three of those and they also have some paper quilling and some beaded cross stitch they have tools and crafts I'm not sure if they have tools for what do you call it paint by number so check that out I'm, I'm not sure Sometimes some stores do. <coughs> I just didn't happen to check that. But they do have crafts and tools for both diamond painting and cross stitch. So check them out and see if there's anything you like. Uh, thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.